Hello and welcome to the Peterson Museum and our 2013 Ford Mustang project. A big shout out to Roush Performance for all the upgrades that we'll be putting on this great Mustang project. I love sharing the information I have about working on cars with youth, and that's what we're here for. So what we have planned for today is gonna to be an oil change on this. Oil is the lifeblood of your engine. That's what lubricates it as it's running down the road. There's so many moving parts inside. So we wanna get an idea how much oil is currently in the engine, how dirty it is. Then we'll raise the vehicle so we can drain it out and replace it with something new. Go ahead and pull that out and use this with your other hand. So what you wanna do is clean it off first and then reinsert it into the dipstick hole and we'll check for the level. So there's two holes on the dipstick and the oil level should be between the two holes. And it's below. It's a little bit on the low side, yeah. So getting the jack underneath is sometimes difficult on a low profile vehicle. So we're gonna work uh, to get the jack underneath there. And then there are points along the bottom of the car that you're allowed to put supports. So whether you're lifting it with a vehicle lift like we have over here, or you're lifting it with jack and jack stands, you need to use the same supports underneath the car so it's safe. We're gonna get it up high enough so we can work underneath there to uh, access the drain plug and also access the filter. All right, so everyone, it's lifted up on the jack stands now, right? Underneath here, we have sort of the engine, which is this part. This piece is the transmission. So the oil that we're gonna be replacing is in the uh, engine. So look at the lowest possible point where something would come out. So if this was full of liquid, where would the drain plug be? That's it right there. Okay, so now, turn it a little more. There might be some oil coming out, okay? Stop right there. See the oil dripping? Yeah. It's onto this plastic, which is fine. If it wasn't for the oil, you wouldn't be able to have a rotating engine. So it's really important to take care of the quality of the oil, make sure it's the right amount of oil. Also make sure it's the right type of oil for the type of driving you're doing and in the climates that you're doing. Okay, so you want to put the wrench on the drain plug? The other side? Okay, it's pretty close. Wiggle it. Oh, good. Okay, and keep it over, over the pan. And put this, use this to wipe off the hands. All right, so the vehicle's still up in the air, but we are done with the hard part, which is changing the oil. You guys did a good job getting the oil filter off. We drained about a gallon of oil without making too big of a mess. So good job on that. You guys did great looking for all the components and getting access to the oil filter. So great job on that. We are going to do more work on the trunk. We're gonna install a tool kit next, but I wanted to say a good job on the oil filter change and the oil change. So thank you. You guys uh, think that was easier or more difficult than you thought? Easier. Would you rather take it to a uh, oil change place or do it yourself? Do it yourself. So how difficult is it, right? So you change, you removed uh, one bolt to get the oil to come out and you removed one um, canister, which is the oil filter. And it required a special tool, but that tool is less than the cost of an oil change. So don't feel like you can't do it yourself. Um, if you do do this yourself, you wanna be very mindful of lifting the vehicle up and make sure it's supported well. We have a nice floor here. If you have like a gravel driveway or something, you probably don't wanna do it at home. That's when you take it to an oil change place, okay? But if you have a good place to work, then you can absolutely do it yourself, right? Yeah. Good job, high five. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Good job, guys. 
So this wouldn't be possible without the huge support from Roush Performance Parts. We're gonna be doing complete upgrade on this vehicle. It's tires, suspension, aerodynamic kit, supercharger, interior upgrades. I'm really excited about it. Please stay tuned.